So what's going on guys, it's Collis here. I'm just going to do another commentary on Dirt 3, but this time it's going to be about stereotyping. So that's my topic. But first of all, before I start talking about that, I passed my driving test! Please give me a thumbs up for that. I was really happy. I passed my driving test, guys. Passed it. I am now able to smash up any car I want legally if I have insurance. Yes! And not get into trouble for it. Well, maybe a little bit, but as long as I say it's non-intentional and I'm not drunk, then I might get away with it. So anyway, stereotyping. The uh, reason why I'm actually doing this commentary is because my uh, my uncle came back from Afghanistan the other, uh, last week, or like the week before. But he lives in Germany because he's posted out there on his barracks. Um, he he was over here uh, the other day, and he's been here since Friday, I think. Yeah, he was here on Friday, and it's now uh, Monday. So um, it's Monday, the sixteenth of April. So he was over England last Friday, and I got to see him. And uh, basically, the one thing that wound me up was um, when we was in town and. Uh, People who knew him, who knew he was in the military, were like uh, quite weird with him, we'll say. And also, a lot of shops now don't do military discount, which sucks a little bit because, I mean, I, if it wasn't for people like my uncle, I'm not like making him out to be a hero or anything, but if it wasn't for people like him putting his life on the line um, out in different countries trying to keep our way of life, I know there's a lot of. Uh, there's a lot of conspiracies about why we're out in different countries and things like that but overall the uh, military is in place to protect our lives and our way of life and to preserve us basically so uh, it doesn't matter how you address it whether you want to get into a debate with me about why we shouldn't be in Iraq and why we shouldn't be in Afghanistan and things like that I'm not really fussed I'm just saying He's, he's a soldier, um, he's worked his way up through the ranks and he's quite high up now and he's out on the uh, battlefield basically um, putting his life on the line to well from what he's been told to protect uh, us and things like that so that's it but anyway they don't do a military discount anymore and I thought that was a bit um, I thought that was a bit harsh uh, not doing one anymore um, uh, to be honest, I think it's a bit sick that they don't do military discounts. Um, but anyway, I'm going to get off that subject anyway. Keep on the stereotyping because uh, there's more than one thing I want to talk about. With my uncle coming over, he's brought his wife, obviously my auntie, and um, his two daughters. And uh, we was in a shop called Burton's. I don't know whether you know what that is, but it's it's quite a casual clothing shop you know it's uh, not too expensive not too cheap it's not cheap like Primark but it's not expensive like All Saints um, and we, when he was in the changing rooms I was stood outside with uh, the baby who was in the pushchair and I was uh, sort of looking after her while he was in the changing rooms and uh, his wife was picking out clothes with his other daughter and uh, basically some people walked past me and just gave me like a really dodgy look as if to think that like I'd obviously had a kid obviously not me physically but it was my kid and I'm really young and things like that and it's just like how do they know that um, <laughs> that it's my child and things like that and how how dare they like judge me from looking at me for one second with a baby and making up an opinion and I know we all do it. I've done it in the past. Um, it's really, uh, it's really uh, difficult not to judge and things like that and be stereotyping. But um, the people have no right. I, I, like I said, I know we do it, but they, they just have no right to do things like that. And because my uncle's wife is pretty young, um, they all thought that she was the mother and I was the father. You know. Um, and we'd had two kids and they, they looked at us like we was uh, excuse my French but a piece of shit on the bottom of their shoes and it, it was just it was uh, quite harsh but um, I got over it because I know they're not my kids <laughs> and uh, I've basically got no responsibility other than college so that's good for me and uh, the kids the kids are great anyway they're my cousins and they're, they're absolutely amazing 
they're really hyper all the time. But anyway, carrying on to that, carrying on and on and on and on and on. I saw that uh, Squeezy Jibs put something out about people uh, being horrible, about uh, other people being gay and things like that. Um, like I said earlier, I, I've been guilty of things like this when I was in the past, like calling people gay, you know, when when it's like, when you're in year seven, that's like the main comeback for an argument is, oh, you're gay, oh, you're gay, la da da. Um, and to be honest, uh, again, I don't think people have the right to judge people for their own sexuality and sexual orientation and things like that. I mean, it's their choice. If, to be honest, I, I don't like watching like disgusting chavs and stuff. See, that's me stereotyping again just because they're wearing trackies, but see, we all do it. So uh, I apologize for that. But seeing like teenagers and things like that all snogging and basically hump, dry humping each other in the uh, middle of town and things like that I just don't think it's appropriate at all uh, I'm a bit backwards about that you might call me boring but it don't really appeal to me um, so it's the same with uh, with gay people as well I wouldn't like to see uh, two males or two females uh, just getting off of each other in town and things like that I mean but it's their choice, you know. Um, uh, it's my opinion to say that I don't think watching anybody kissing is that nice, to be honest. Unless you're drunk and it's funny. <laughs> Which uh, brings me on to my next point is when I had a house party. That went pretty well. Uh, I'll put a picture up now in the uh, thing and you can see how many beers I bought myself. Tesco had a really good deal on with like 30 cans for about 16 quid. So that was pretty good. Um, but anyway, back to like the uh, stereotyping and things like that. I just, I just don't think it's right anymore. Like every anything that goes wrong, somebody will blame a certain group or certain people. Like when people aren't getting jobs and things, they'll blame. Oh, it's the uh, it's the immigrants and the asylum seekers and things like that. Some of them, maybe, but not all of them. There's there's a lot more people that you see on Jeremy Kyle show who aren't immigrants, who are sat on their asses doing nothing with their lives on benefits and literally being, like having kids because they can't afford condoms even though they get more than pensioners who fought in the war and things like that. It is ridiculous. Um, so really, if you if you feel the need to blame anyone, then blame yourself that you obviously aren't good enough to do, to do what you want to do and basically try and improve yourself I mean um, I've learned that the hard way this year as I try to get into uni I've got the highest grades I can get possible as I say I can get the highest grades you can get possible on my uh, BTEC national diploma I'm getting D star D star D star uh, or I'm on track for that and that's the highest you can get but, of course, what I've picked at university, I need to do a little bit more. And I didn't really read on that. I just tried to go with the flow and hope for the best. And it's not worked out. So, basically, next year, I'm probably going to have to do another college course. Probably, like, a lower level or something. And do a paramedic apprenticeship. Because that's what I want to do. But, um... So, I mean, uh... It, it's a bit of a setback. But, you know what? I'm, it's my own fault. And... I obviously need to change something about what I'm doing and I have done or I am doing in the process of so I think I'm being a bit boring in this commentary but if you do like me having a little bit of a rant and things like that then please comment um, I recently uh, joined combustion sports as a director I like being a director for another channel uh, it, I think it it sort of broadcasts myself a little bit and also I don't really like thinking of ideas off my own back if I'm helping someone out then that's fine I can I can think of ideas straight away but for myself it's really difficult to think um, especially talking like nine ten minutes uh, things like that on my own it's it's really difficult <laughs> Uh, especially by myself, yeah, I just said on my own, uh, repeated that again, but that's added another 15 seconds onto my commentary, see how I do it. So, um, again, I'd really like to start doing dual commentaries and things like that, as well as doing single commentaries, but um, 
I thought I'd release this uh, video because, uh, like I said, I passed my driving test and I'm really happy about that. And also, I was sort of like judged when I went out with my family and things like that. Which is another thing! I went into town with my dear old nana and uh, some girls, they were about 14, just decided to giggle at me because I was with my nan. It's like, what has the world come to where you can't even go to town with your grandma? It's, it's a bit weird, but... You know what? I got over it and uh, she bought me a hoodie out of it, so I'm really happy about that. <laughs> I'm really happy. She bought me a hoodie. Um, if you want to see more stuff like this, then please comment or like or do something along those lines. And if you don't, then please uh, say why you don't like it. I, I appreciate the comments more than I do the like and dislike. I'm not fussed about like and dislike. But um, likes are good, obviously, but if if you comment, then I know what to do for the next one, and I know where if I'm going wrong and places like that. So this is the end of my commentary. See you on the next video. Bye. In the VIP, that leg got my car out front. Tell me, do you wanna kick it in the?